still has time. You have eight minutes, man. Check out this giant airship that looks like something out of those um, old-fashioned science fiction movies. This could be vital in helping troops in remote areas overseas. Adam Housley's had a look at it live in L.A. What you think, Adam? Good morning. Well, Bill, the throwback in the days of those huge airships, the Hindenburg days, if you will. What's different this time is it's helium, and they've created something here that's entirely new altogether. Inside a Southern California hangar built during World War II floats a craft that could revolutionize air transport. But basically what it does, it's very simple. It takes off, lands vertically, and it goes basically to anywhere with no infrastructure. Called the Aeroscraft, it's not a blimp or a balloon, but a next generation aircraft made of aluminum and carbon fiber. It can hold more than 60 tons of cargo, has a range of 3,200 miles, and doesn't need a landing strip. This vehicle could go there, not have to touch down, offload the cargo, and go on. And then with the internal um, compartment of this vehicle, there's no uh, itemizing the load. We can rearrange the load internal to the vehicle, why it's moving. This version of the aeroscraft is called a proof of design, roughly half the size of what the eventual rigid structure will be. Dry weight, 36,000 pounds, but when you add helium to it, it becomes buoyant, which means a 218-pound man can push around a 260-foot airship. Funded in part by the Department of Defense, the craft operates at one-third the cost of a traditional cargo plane, and with the ability to descend vertically and cruise at 120 miles per hour, engineers believe the possibilities are endless. From the commercial perspective, as much as from the military perspective, uh, it's going to create, it's going to fill up the gap that exists right now. Bill, there's really three applications for this. You mentioned the military. For example, when we were in Haiti after the earthquake, you wouldn't have had to wait for the airstrip to open up. Could have come in, levitated right above the ground, dropped off uh, needed supplies, of course. The second application is air cargo. You could pick up fruit and vegetables from the Central Valley of California, take them straight to Ohio, not have to go to the airport or use semis. And the third one I'm sure Martha's interested in, it could be like an air cruise ship. You could go around the world and just kind of hover over Italy, for example, drop down and let Martha and the kids go see part of Par or Paris or Rome or wherever. She was just talking about that. I bet she was. <laughs> I'd like to get down on the ground and actually see something, though. I'm not sure about hovering over those places. Adam, thank well, you. Well, I'll let you down, Martha. Okay, right. good. As long as I can get down. All right. Well, we have been talking.